Hi, I'm Scott Knowlton. I'm here at ARM TechCon 2015, and I'm here to show you our new PCI Express Gen 4 demo. Let's start by looking at a block diagram of the demo so you understand what you're going to see. So we're going to start with a standard PC. Uh, unfortunately today, the standard PCs don't support PCI Express Gen 4, so we're going to use an existing system which supports PCI Express Gen 3, and then um, connected to that through our HAPS prototyping uh, PCI Express cable, um, and to convert from PCI Express Gen 3 to Gen 4, we're going to be using this PCI Express switch. And in this case, we're actually using PCI Express Gen 2, and it'll downshift to, into the system that's Gen, Gen 3. Um, so we have four lanes here, given us 20 gigabytes of data on the upstream port. We're using a single lane of PCI Express Gen 4, which will give us 16 gig. The downstream port goes through our PCI Express Gen 4 PHY across the back plane, into another PHY, and then into our application running on another HAPS DX board. This application is an endpoint device um, that's going to help us transfer data to do system performance measurements. So let's take a look at what this looks like now in hardware. So we start with our standard PC. To show uh, later some traffic running, we've inserted a Teledyne LaCroix Summit T34 analyzer to show you traces. Here's our HAPS uh, PCI Express cable kit. It goes into our HAPS DX7. This HAPS DX7 has an FPGA on it, which is on the back side of the board. Um, this one is housing our switch. So we come in here. We're coming out here through our Gen 4 PCI Express PHY across the back plane into our second HAPS DX4, which is housing our endpoint. Um, and over here on the side, there's another PHY that these two connect on the back plane. Let's take a look at um, the device manager that's the standard part of Windows. We can see our eDMA device is connected up within the system and it's seen in its hierarchy. And then we'll move over to uh, the Teledyne LaCroix trace. Uh, this was uh, one that we captured before, but let's recapture the data. And then we're going to filter that data. Um, and as we're doing reads here, um, we're transferring 4K of data from the endpoint into system memory, which equates to 124 D words. And then uh, when the system responds, it's responding with 32 D words or 128 megabytes of data. So now that we've shown that we're capturing data, I'm going to open up our, our demo GUI here, and I'm going to show you the actual transfer rates. So we're doing reads from our endpoint into our system memory, and as we're doing the transfer, we're calculating how much we're actually transferring. From our GUI here, you can see that we're transferring over 1,600 megabytes of data between our endpoint application and PCI Express, which is well above uh, the PCI Express Gen 4. That concludes our demo. Thank you for watching.